This is one of the things I talk about safety, uh, safety lectures. When you dial 911 on your cell phone, it goes to the California Highway Patrol. And uh, CHP handles th literally thousands of calls from all the LA area. My suggestion uh, to a lot of the people that no, this is what you need to do. Um, when you're in a situation that you need the police, um, but this is important that you understand you have to know where location you're in. I've generally told students that if you know you're in the city of Glendale and you know you're on Mount and Verdugo and you are involved in an accident with injuries and you need help, don't dial 911. Call 411 and ask for the city of Glendale Police Department. Once you get their direct number, then you can tell them, hey, I'm at the mountain in Verdugo. I'm in an accident with injury. It goes directly to the city PD and not necessarily through CHP who will dispatch you to the city PD. You'll eliminate, believe me, you know, tons of minutes for a quick response. And that wow. holds true from any, any area, any uh, city that you're in. If, if you're in the street somewhere, something happens, know what city you're in, know what streets you're in. And again, this goes being prepared. Call 411 and ask for the city PD's phone number, direct number, and they'll dispatch you to there and just tell them, hey, I'm in such and such location, I need a police response. And believe me, you'll get a much faster response on that. Wow, that's good information. Absolutely. And maybe if you're, you know, like I know I drive from my town to Glendale sure. every day, maybe having that Glendale PD and Glendale Fire Department programmed in my cell phone Absolutely. would not be a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. If, if you know you're going to be traveling in the city of Pasadena, city of Glendale, constantly put their local phone number on your, your, your fast dial. Believe me, it saves you so much time and, and energy and effort. Wow, and could save lives too. Absolutely, absolutely. Any other safety tips, just general safety tips? Um, just be, my, my biggest thing, I mean, everybody knows don't go to the ATM at night, make sure that it's, it's well lit. That's just common sense stuff. Some of the non-common sense stuff that you really have to think about is really just being aware of your surrounding. Be cautious of everything that's around you. Not to the point where you're panicking and you're constantly looking behind your shoulders, but just be aware that you know you are in a location. What there's not too many people, or the area is not well lit, and you know try not to put yourself in that position. Number one, obviously, but number two, just be aware and cognizant of the stuff that is around you. That's really important because believe it or not, a lot of the criminals, a lot of the bad people, are already planning what they're going to do to you if they see you walking in the street. They've got it, okay, I'm gonna go up behind that person, grab them, grab their person, take off. They already have a plan. And this is where some people go, oh, I'm shocked, I don't know what to do, I freeze. But you can probably outmatch them by being prepared and being ready to go if something does happen. They'll catch them off guard. So that's my biggest tip is just be cautious, be aware, know your surroundings, know where you're at, that's important. And sometimes they won't choose you as a victim because they want to choose an easy victim, Absolutely. not a victim that's going to be difficult. Absolutely. I mean, you think about it. Put yourself in a position of somebody that wants to, you know, steal something from somebody or, or do something to somebody. If you see person A who's alert and walking around versus person B who's tunnel vision with their hands around their, their, their chest and looking down, who would you choose? Well, this has been great. You know, we started off with your uh, <laughs> life here as a student and then as an employee and now on to... Uh, Safety, I, I think this has been a really great show, and I really want to thank you so much for coming No, thank on. you for having me. This is a great okay. show, and, and I hope a lot of people watch it and, and learn from it. And again, you know, I encourage everybody who wants to attend Glendale Community College. It's a great place to start. You know, I'm, I'm sitting proof of it right here. I started off as a, as a student, and now I'm a full-time employee and an ANJEC employee, and I have a long ways to go as far as my future goes here. So definitely, definitely, definitely look up Glendale Community College look at the things that we offer and put everything aside. It is a very beautiful campus. We're located in the safest part of the city of Glendale. Um, I'll tell you because I know um, oh, it's, it's, great. it's a great area. It's a great place. And, you know, all the way from the administrative staff to the classified staff, great people.